Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDuly.com and today we are ready to talk about Christmas. All right, this is the first time I've ever decorated this porch for Christmas, as you might know. I gave my kitchen porch a makeover earlier this year and we've been using it ever since and I really love it. So it's so much fun to have a whole other place to decorate for the seasons. So um, as always, I highly recommend deep cleaning. This is my time that I do deep cleaning and it is Really, I only do it four times a year when I change out the seasonal decorations. So you wanna start by removing everything off the area that you're gonna do your seasonal decorating in. And so all, all my stuff went out, kind of I set it in the yard, I swept everything, I got rid of the cobwebs, I um, washed linens, this is the time to deal with mildew, it's time to clean windows, those kinds of things. So I went ahead and got all that done and then I have my blank slate and I pulled out, I organized my holiday decorating in different in different Rubbermaid tubs and I actually am gonna do a video on that in a few weeks. I'm gonna show you how I do that to keep it really simple. And so I, I have the inventory all on my computer so I was able to just look through the list, pick out things that I thought would be good for this porch and then I pulled just those items and I had a little pile that I was working from. So once I rebuild an area, I start with the big pieces first. The furniture goes in place first. I decided to reuse these chairs again like I had here earlier this year. But I switched out the table for this little red table that I got at a garage sale this summer. And then added in a sled that I had gotten from Craigslist. I decided to put that over by the door and cover kind of this blemish, kind of this um, eyesore that's next to the door. It was an old part of the house that we just kind of painted over. So I put the sled in front of that. And then um, from there, I needed to start thinking about smaller pieces and this wall behind me. Now I had gotten this piece on clearance I believe I got it at Michael's. I love to check the clearance stuff like a week, even like a day after a specific holiday. I go and I check Joann's and Michael's and see what happens uh, with their seasonal things, like what they've clearanced out. And I bought this after, the, um, after Christmas last year and so I haven't used it yet. But I think it's a nice size, it's big enough, it's the right shape and so I put that up on this wall, super easy and then needed to decide on what to put on the door, uh, what to put on this little table, what kind of pillows I want, and what was gonna go on the ground. So that's kind of my checklist that I'm, I'm thinking of. I really love to put white on this, this navy door over here just to um, get that good contrast going, so I decided to put my real sleigh bells up with my white ice skates on that door. I ended up doing these um, gray and red pillows that I made last year from a scrap of fabric I got. I think I got the fabric at a thrift store and I turned them into pillows and I think they look really nice with the red. I don't do actually do a lot of red decorating with my Christmas so when I do it I kind of cluster it all together and then it looks cohesive. Um, so this kind of might be the bulk of the red that you see in my decorating this year. Um, then for this table, I had a champagne bucket. I think I paid a dollar for this. Yeah, I paid a dollar for this at a garage sale. This tree, I think, was a dollar, and then I um, I flocked it. I have a Facebook video on how I did that. So I got this glass jar at a garage sale. You may have seen it, seen it in my styling thrifted decorations video. The glitter, I also got at a garage sale, and then the Silver bottle brush trees. I got this set at Walmart for just a few dollars. Check Walmart, I think they have really good prices on bottle brush trees. And I also uh, will check the Dollar Tree too. Sometimes you can find them there. And then last but not least, I have these really cute galvanized buckets. I have three, I'm only using two on this porch, but I just um, am repeating the birch wood pile that I have on the end of the porch here. I'm just kind of repeating that look. Uh, by putting smaller, more like kindling size logs in these two.
Okay, so that's it. Pretty simple. That's kind of my formula that I use as I decorate. And you will notice that I like to zigzag textures and colors. So if you look at the overall um, layout of this porch, you'll see that the red actually is making zigzag lines if you were to connect things. Uh, I feel like that makes everything look a little more interesting and balanced and like it was actually designed and not just straight across the room. It's kind of a little design tip for you there. So um, I also have something that I think you might like. I wrote something that it's just a teeny tiny ebook basically and it's 10 steps to have a peaceful Christmas. And so I give you some ideas on how to simplify and kind of ease your way into the holiday season so it's not as stressful as maybe years past. So grab that if you'd like. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do post regularly. I try to post on Tuesdays and Fridays. And I share my professional design advice for the DIY home life. All right, take care, and I will talk to you soon. More Christmas videos coming up.